everyone and welcome back to another video of Genshin with Daka. So first of all, I'd like to say sorry for not posting yesterday, but I was not at home for Independence Day or 4th of July, whatever you want to call it. But I may post two videos today to make up for that. So today we're going to be talking about why Electro Traveler is going to be an insane battery for any of your team members and why he may be good even at low level. So, this is why. First of all, let's talk about his skill. It's called Lightning Blade. And it makes three Thunder Strikes that deal Electro damage and leave an Abundance Amulet behind. So yes, the Thunder Strikes can do damage. You can see at level 8 they do 125% of damage, but it's not that much. Now, two Abundance Amulets can be created initially, and using this skill will reset any Abundance Amulets. Now, the Abundance Amulets are insane, because when a character is near an Abundance Amulet, they will absorb it and obtain these effects. It will restore their elemental energy and increase energy recharge. So, they can, at all levels, it'll increase energy recharge of the character by 20%, and at level 1, it will increase the energy regeneration uh, of by 3 energy. And at level 8, it will be 4 energy. So, and why this Electro Traveler can be a great battery is because Electro Traveler is not the one who has to actually pick up the Abundance Amulet. You can switch to another character in your party and pick up the Abundance Amulets and get back... Um, 6 energy at level 1 and get a 20% energy recharge which is quite insane so now let's talk about the burst it's called bellowing thunder and you call upon the protection of lightning knocking nearby opponents back and dealing electro damage to them so the electro damage it's it's considerably more than the elemental skill but not that much with 183% at level 8 but you do do um, Falling Thunder damage for 52% of your attack. So there's an effect called Lightning Shroud. When your active character's normal or charge attacks hit opponents, they will call Falling Thunder forth, dealing Electro damage. When Falling Thunder hits opponents, it will regenerate energy for that character. One instance of Falling Thunder can be generated every 0.5 seconds. So you can generate... 0.8 energy at level 1 and 1 energy at level 8. So this is insane because it'll also work for a non-Electro Traveler. It will work for any character in your party if you switch them and do normal attacks with them. And this uh, skill will allow you to do a lot of uh, Electro Elemental reactions because it's constantly applying Falling Thunder, which deals Electro damage. And it's a pretty nice amount of energy because it's uh, it happens every 0.5 seconds you can get one energy at level 8. Which is quite a lot because in one second you get two energy. And that is very nice. So this is all great but the burst has a 80 energy cost. Which might be a little problem but then again he's built with energy recharge or she. So you don't have to worry about it. And the Electric Traveler is going to be such a great battery. And if you look at the passive talents, you can see Thunder Flash when another nearby character in the party obtains an Abundance Amulet created by Lightning Blade. Lightning Blade's cooldown is decreased by 1.5 seconds. So you can get it up to 3 second cooldown decrease um, on your elemental scale. And it's 13.5 second cooldown, so you can get it down to 10.5 seconds. And this will allow you um, to generate more Abundance Amulets and get more energy recharge. And get more energy back, which is insane. And then the second passive talent is called Resounding Roar. And it increases the energy recharge effect granted by Lightning Blade's Abundance Amulet by 10% of the Traveler's energy recharge. So if you have 100% energy recharge, which is the standard amount of energy recharge the character starts with, then it's going to increase by 30% of energy recharge and not 20%. And 
And this is insane because you're going to get so much energy recharge this way, especially if you've already stacked energy recharge on your character. So I'm not going to go through the constellations and other stuff of the Electro Traveler. If you'd like me to do that in another video, please comment down below. But this was just, I wanted to talk about how Electro Traveler could be such an insane battery for your main DPS and for your other characters. So thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day and Genshin with Daka out.